Okay, and camera is rolling. Sound speed. This is the Film School Experience. Take one apple and action. Hey, I'm Maddie. Looks like you made it to your call time. Welcome to the Film School Experience. Seems like you're interested in film school. Maybe you're a current film school student or a former alumni student or you didn't go to film school at all. Or maybe you're on the fence about going to film school. This channel is for you. Learn about what film school is, why you should even apply or stay enrolled in film school. On this channel, we're gonna hear a lot from my fellow alumni friends who can speak to their film school experience to shed more light on the things that you may be thinking about what film school is or what it was for them. We're also gonna hear from my alumni friends who are out in the wild in the industry right now working on their dream jobs. Or we're gonna hear from them and see how they are trying to break into the film industry currently. So you're gonna get a chance to learn about their experiences and hear exactly how film school has driven them and taken them to their destination in the industry or is getting them to the place that they want to be. And yes, of course, film school is not for everyone. I totally agree with that. And I think that is something that we all have to keep in mind. But on this channel, we're gonna hear all about the film school experience. So if you're one of those people who are on the fence about going to film school, someone who currently is in film school or someone who is an alumni, this channel is totally for you because you're gonna hear everything that you may be missing out on or how to maximize your film school experience. So who am I, you may be wondering. I'm a former film student with just around six years of being in film school. Now, all of those years have earned me my BA in film production and also my MFA in film production. And also outside of that, I have taught two years of video production as a adjunct professor. That hasn't allowed me to have as much experience or time on set as I would like to, but what that has done has given me a really profound understanding of what the film school experience is and how it can be better. So you may be wondering, like I was at the beginning of my journey, what is film school? And to me, the understanding and the definition that I have created what film school is, is that it's an organized, facilitated institute with professionals from the industry that teach you every aspect of filmmaking, from pre-production to production to post-production, all the way to distribution. And it also goes without saying that it's a place where you can collaborate with like-minded filmmakers and be in an environment where you can learn, grow, and better yourself as a filmmaker. So you may be thinking, who is film school for? Well, to me, it's two groups of people. And that first group I'm gonna call the beginners or the novice. Now, this group of people have maybe stumbled across filmmaking through YouTube or maybe from a friend who is interested in making videos. Now, this group probably hasn't had the exposure or the experience of being on set. Maybe you've never been on set. Maybe you've always wondered what set is like. Also, you may not know how to write a script, use editing software, or even just film a scene with basic coverage. That's group one. Now group two is what I like to call the experienced person. This person has prior knowledge to filmmaking, whether that be through making YouTube videos, TikTok videos, small commercials for friends or wedding videos, whatever it may be, as long as you're pressing record on your camera. But with that limited experience, they don't understand the lingo and or the process and the collaboration of what it takes to make a film. So what's the point of even going to film school? Well, the answer is actually quite simple. It's an organized way to learn and exercise the fundamentals of filmmaking. You're gonna wanna go to film school because you want to expand and refine your previous learnings or understandings of how to make a film. And also it should go without saying, but I will continue to remind you all again and again, going to film school is gonna land you in a network of people who are doing the same thing that you wanna do after you graduate. And it's very known that when you go to film school, you're paying for the network, as well as the education as well. The network you make at film school is going to be your biggest asset into landing you a job after you graduate. Okay, so a few questions that people have asked me in the past is like, would I do film school all over again? Would you spend six years of your life and a lot of money later and do it and repeat it all over again? And my answer is always emphatically the same. Yes, I absolutely would. But that's because where I grew up and where I come from before going to film school, like the film industry just didn't exist at all. It just wasn't anywhere remotely close to where I could find experience, where I could find exposure and meet with people who are wanting and interested in the same goal as me. So yeah, I would absolutely go back to film school and relive those experiences again. But with that being said, another question that I've been asked before what would I do differently if I could go back and redo those years at film school? Now, everyone's answer is going to differ depending on who you ask, but for my personal film school experience, what I would do differently is that I would be a little bit more brave. I would actually go on set a lot more than I already was doing when I was in film school. I would make more connections. I would take a lot more risks with just getting onto sets, 
doing projects that I wasn't familiar with, and also expanding my network outside of school. That is a huge thing that I was able to do when I was in film school. I met a lot of people that did not go to the film school that I did and still benefits me to this day. Now, for me, it was really tough to get on set and feel a lot more comfortable than what I did because much like I'm sure a lot of you, you feel imposter syndrome. Even when you're in film school, that does exist. When you're on set, you don't know the etiquette, you don't know the lingo, and you don't understand the order of operations, how people think, how people move, how people operate and collaborate on set. So I would definitely step out of my comfort zone and just be on set a lot more than I previously was. Another thing that I would do is find mentorship. Now you're gonna get that at film school regardless. You're not gonna enjoy all of your professors that you have, but you will have a few that you really gravitate towards. And it's very helpful to try and get a mentorship out of that relationship. Now, I wish I would have done that a lot more than I did and also found mentorships outside of school. Like I said, getting on set, projects that are not of the school is really, really important. And when you get onto sets that have no ties to film school, now it would have been amazing if I could have landed a mentorship with someone who is not from the school, but someone who has either graduated or just working on set. Creating that relationship, having that mentorship would have been really useful for me. Well, you've made it this far in the video, so let me just tell you why you should be interested in this channel. So like I said, I'm gonna share my film school experience with you all from getting my bachelor's degree in film production to also getting my master's degree in production. What is the difference between the two and why is it even important to get a bachelor's or a master's degree in film production? You're also gonna hear from a lot of my friends who are alumni from both of the institutions that I went to. And you're also gonna hear from other alumni, film students from other schools, as well as current students right now at the film schools you may be interested in going to. So you're not only gonna hear about their experiences of being at film school, ranging from what classes they took to what were some of people's favorite classes. And also you can hear about how it was operating on set as a writer, director, producer, first AD, cinematographer, editor, uh, sound recordist, sound mixer, and everything else that I missed out on. So you're gonna get the exclusive on a lot of stories that just aren't on YouTube or any other channel or podcast, but here. And one of the main goals of this channel, I hope that from all of this knowledge that you are hearing and learning from, not only from myself, but from my friends and other alumni, you're gonna get a chance to speed up the process to figure out what your journey as a filmmaker is going to be or what it's gonna look like, or even to help define what interest you have in filmmaking. This is gonna be a wonderful place to hear where you need to start, how you should continue your progress at getting better at your specific craft within filmmaking. And also you're gonna learn how a lot of my friends and myself are breaking into the film industry or hear about their stories of where they have landed in the film industry, doing the things that they absolutely love or doing some of the things that they never saw themselves doing in film school. It's gonna be really fun and you're gonna learn a lot. So let me go back to one thing I said earlier film school is not for everyone. I absolutely agree with that. There are so many incredible, talented filmmakers who never went to film school and are doing just fine. So if you are one of those people, you're going to get a chance to get the exclusives to hear how film school has made an impact on all of these people in their careers and also as filmmakers in general. And last but not least, for those of you who are currently in film school right now, this is going to be a wonderful place to help you hone in and figure out where your interests lie and how other schools and other people have done it to maximize your film school experience. So I hope you're just as excited as I am about this journey. I cannot wait to introduce you all to my incredible friends who are alumni from institutions that you may have heard of or even some schools that you have never heard of that have a film program. So with that being said, I think it's time we shed some light on the film school experience. I'm Maddie, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.